Hey everyone, I'm Dirty at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Windows 11 is not detecting the keyboard. So before we dive in into any solutions just make sure of the following. Perform some basic checks. First of all disconnect the keyboard, then clean both the USB and the port and check for any damage to the cables. If there's no damage just reconnect the keyboard and see if it works. Also try connecting it to another port on the system just to make sure that the ports are not disabled. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the keyboard troubleshooter. To do this press the windows button then simply select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on system and afterwards on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and lastly just scroll down until you find the keyboard category and click on the run button next to it. Windows will now try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Another useful solution is to disable the fast startup. To do this press the windows button then simply type choose a power plan and then select it as a search result. Now in here on the left pane make sure to click on the choose what the power buttons do and as you can see under shutdown settings there are a few options that are greyed out including the turn off fast startup. In order to change these options make sure to click on the change settings that are currently unavailable link and you will see that the shutdown settings are now unblocked. The last thing you have to do is simply untick the turn off fast startup option and then click on save changes and restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update the keyboard driver. To do this right click the windows button then select device manager from the list of options. Now in the device manager window make sure to expand the keyboard section by double clicking on it, then right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Lastly just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. You can then check if the issue still persists. And lastly another great solution is to reset Windows 11. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery section and click on it. Now under the recovery options section there is an option called reset this PC so just click on the button next to it. Lastly just decide with the preferences for the reset procedure and afterwards confirm by pressing on reset this PC. You can then restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.